Within this lesson, our objective is to divide decimal dividends by two-digit divisors. Here I have the problem, 903 divided by 42. I'm dividing, my holes are 903, that's my dividend, and I'm dividing by 42. If we were doing our estimate from before, then we would have 40 here, and this is from my estimate. 880 would be pretty nice here to divide this by, where we had 880 divided by 10, divided by 4. 880 divided by 10 is 88, and that's divided by 4 would be 22, and that would be our estimate. Now for our exact answer, 42 cannot go into that 900s, so we look at the 9010s and think how many times that 42 can go in the 9010s, which is 2. And we can use our estimate over here to help us with that. 2 times 42 is 84, and 90 minus 84 is 6 tens there. We regroup that into the ones place to get 63 there, and 63 with that 42 there is only goes in once. 1 times 42 is 42, and 63 minus 42 is 21. So I'm left with 21 ones there. However, that 21 ones, we can regroup into the tenths place. And that's where it is that I did this to my dividend here, where I added a decimal place and I added a zero. Now my dividend was 903 before, now it's 903 and zero tenths, where it is that that dividend still has the same value. Now, again, I'm taking these 21, that would have been my remainder of 21, and yet that's 21 ones, and then it's really worth 210 tenths. And then so I brought down that zero there. Now 42, going into that 210 for that tenths place there, that's going to be 5, because 5 times 42 is 210, and 210 minus 210 is 0. Now my decimal point is right there, because I was working in the tenths place at that point, and then you see that my answer is 21.5. So if I read my whole number sentence, I have 903 divided by 42 equaling 21 and 5 tenths. Let's look at another problem. Here I have 582 divided by 24. 582 divided by 24. Here I'll start in the hundreds place here. 24, I cannot divide that 500s by the 24. Now I regroup that 500s with the tens. That 500s is worth 50 tens, that's why it's 58 tens here. And I know that that can go in twice, because 2 times 24 is 48. 58 minus 48 is 10. That's 10 tens there. I'll regroup that to the ones place. The 10 tens is worth 100. Bringing down the 2, I have 102. Now with this 24 here, I believe that the value there is going to be 4. 4 times 24 is 96. 4 times 4 is 16. Regroup the 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 96, just like I was saying. 102 minus 96 is 6. That's 6 ones. Now, however, I'm not going to put a remainder. I'm going to work this so that it has a decimal. And then so I'm going to go ahead and add a decimal place here so that now I'm working in the tenths place. That 6 ones is worth 60 tenths. 60 tenths divided by 24 is going to be 2 because 2 times 24 is 48. 60 minus 48 is 12. I'll add another 0 in my dividend after that decimal point. And then so it's still the value is 582, just as before, except now I'm looking at 582. And then um, two more decimal places there for 0 hundredths. Now that decimal point is there because I did work in the tenths place. Now I'm working in the hundredths place. Drop that 0. And then again, I'm still dividing by 24. 120 there, that answer is 5. 
5 times 24 is going to give me 120, and 120 minus 120 is 0. So my answer is 24.25. Reading my whole number sentence, I have 582 divided by 24 equaling 24 and 25 hundredths. Now, if I had written it with a remainder, it would have been 24 with a remainder of 6. Now, if I could divide that 6, that 6 was left over from the 582. If I could have div divided that 6, I would have divided it by my divisor, which is 24. 24 and 6 24 Now, if I reduce that mixed number there, you'll see that by reducing that mixed number, I have that 24 and 1 fourth, which is also equal to 24.25, just as I had just figured out. So my answer there is reasonable. And then it's, again, it's, I'm just thinking about how to interpret that remainder. We have that division process where we're adding decimal places there to continue our work. All right, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and set this up. We have 1,287 divided by 18. Pause that video. That 18 cannot go into that 1,000 there. It cannot go into the 12 hundreds. It can go into the 128 tens. It goes in seven whole times. S be careful where it is that you place that seven. Seven times 18, that's six, regroup of five gives us 126. Subtracting that, we get 2, 128 minus 126. I bring down the 7, and 27 ones then. So I have 27 ones divided by 18, equaling 1, because 1 times 18 is 18. 27 minus 18 is 9. I can add a 0 in the, for the tenths place, bring down a 0. I have 90, 90 divided by 18. Did you get 5? And then did you remember to place a decimal point for um, your answer there because you're dealing with tenths? Hopefully you did this last step as well. 90 minus 90 is 0. So our answer here is 71 and 5 tenths. Read the whole equation along with me. 1,287 divided by 18 is 71 and 5 tenths. Here I have the problem 113 and 5 tenths divided by 25. Let me set this up, 113 and 5 tenths divided by 25. 25 cannot go into this 100 here. It also cannot go into the 11 tenths. It, however, can go into the 113 ones. It goes in four whole times. Notice again where it is that I'm placing that digit for that quotient because it's right in the ones place. That's what I was working with right there. 4 times 25 is 100. 113 minus 100 is 13. I bring down the 5 because now I'm working with the tenths place. I regroup those 13 ones with the tenths. Those 13 ones was worth 130 tenths with the 5 tenths is 135 tenths, and that's what I'm dividing here for that tenths place. 135 divided by 25 will give us 5, because 5 times 25 is 125. 135 minus 125 is 10. I'll add a 0. I had 113 and 5 tenths. Now I have 113 and 50 hundredths inside of my um, dividend there, or what I'm dividing. The value of that did not change by me adding a zero there. I'll bring down that zero. So now I'm dealing with, um, instead of dealing with ten tenths, I'm dealing with a hundred hundredths. The value of that is still the same. One hundred divided by twenty-five is four. And then so four times twenty-five is a hundred, and a hundred minus a hundred is zero. So my answer is 4 and 54 hundredths. The whole key here is to continue our work 
until we get until we get zero or nothing left to divide. And the other key is adding zeros after the decimal point does not change the value of what it is that we are dividing. Remember to place your digits appropriately into the quotient, right where it is that you're working, whether it be the tens place, ones place, the tens place, or the hundredths place, or even the thousandths place.